Lay it on me. Fits. You they got out. all my pumpkins. You're my kind of customer. Who the fuck cares? You but I can. Tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Is this some kind of collector or what? Hmm, that ain't no proof. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Aiden, hurry up. Someone's coming your way. Here's something. That's... that's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Thorin. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? You know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> on here for fuck's sake are you nuts he's he's setting us up this fucking pilgrim is framing us what is he talking about aiden i found the proof hidden among your things proof o of what you cut the tattoo from commander lucas's arm after his death or when he was still alive you're out of your mind i didn't do it maybe you didn't with your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? 
Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ador doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. to counter the effects of the drought. Oh, how do you figure that out? Complain. We're alive, and that's what counts. Ugh!
May he spend eternal life in the ultimate truth. We bid you farewell. your eye on something do come again You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. Ankle, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. There's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. So, a curfew was 
put in place. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path.
I thought I could trust them. Can you hear yourself at all? Then why did you do it yourself? Because I asked you to. What am I gonna Ready to peruse my wares, son? Another satisfying customer. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar! Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie! A lot of blood! Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie! What the- Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, Go to the armory, provide weapons to any- And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win.